What's happening YouTube? It's James G1JOB back with another Meshtastic build project. This time there isn't any solar charging system. It will just last as long as the 518650 batteries will last. I designed this portable repeater to be left in a discrete location for up to a week at a time and provide a wide area of coverage depending on the antenna that's used. This could be useful for going camping and wanting to keep comms amongst yourself or with the right devices it can track your location and potentially stop one of your team from getting lost. You could also use this as a fixed node that you return to each week and replace the batteries with freshly charged ones. Another good use could be if you're staying in an area where you're getting little to no activity on a windless side node, you could set this up outside somewhere and it'll provide an extension of your reach. This of course is the final product, but I invite you to join me back a week ago on the bench when I put this together. Unfortunately, some of the footage got corrupted due to a faulty SD card. However, stick with me because as the video progresses, the footage gets better. Thanks for watching. This device is compiled using minimal components. I have used my trusty GWIS enclosures again. I highly recommend these boxes and they have a range of sizes to sort all projects. I'll be mounting an N-type connector chassis mount to SMA on the top of the box. This will enable me to directly mount the 4.5 decibel Paradar fiberglass omnidirectional collinear. To achieve this, I will use this connector, which is an N-type male to male this antenna was previously used as firemesh.org node that has since been upgraded to 8.5 omni collinear the brains of the system will be a helltech v3 as per my other mesh testing projects although i am looking to upgrade a few of my nodes to whiz blocks in the near future connecting the helltech to the chassis mount is a rg178 pigtail so let's get stuck into the build i started out by cutting a hole in the top right side of the enclosure to allow the n type sma chassis connector to pass through i used a stepper drill bit to make the hole checking the fit after each section had passed through to ensure that the tightest fit possible once the chassis mount was sitting flush on the enclosure i marked and drilled the four holes for the bolts to hold the antenna mount in place the next step was to fashion a gasket to sit between the metal chassis mount and the plastic enclosure for this i used a small piece of rolling inner tube i cut the center hole for the mount itself out but i only pierced the rubber where the bolts go through to ensure a nice tight fit remember this node is designed to be left outside for hopefully up to a week at a time so it needs to be waterproof the next step was to use a dremel to cut the little lips away inside the case this enables me to get 518650 battery holders around the outside of the case I used the sanding attachment of Dremel to scratch up the inside of the box on the sides and at the bottom. I do this to ensure the glue gets a good bond to the battery carriers. You should also give the bottoms of the battery carriers a scratch for the same reason. You can then go ahead and stick with super glue the battery carriers in position. I did two on one side, left them to dry, then flipped the enclosure over, did the other side, left that to dry, and then did the bottom. Once these are dried, I linked all five red positive battery cables together using a soldering iron heat shrink for protection. I had to extend the positive cable for the lower carrier. I then repeated the process with all five back cables from the negative terminal. I connect each of the compiled cables to the battery connector that is supplied with the Heltec. This will provide power to the Heltec using all five batteries at once in parallel. I connect the positive cable via a rocker switch to prevent an excessive wear to the Heltec battery connector and the small cables. The switch I use here isn't the final switch. I plan to mount a push and latch switch to the external of the enclosure at a later date. The inside portion of the chassis mounted antenna mount has an SMA fit in. I screw my SWR meter directly onto the base of the chassis and get a great reading of 1.4579, which is more than fine for what we're trying to achieve. I've only been at the second location for about 15 minutes and already we're up to, I think, five nodes. Obviously, two of them we're aware of because they're our own. We've got Orange V3. Um, I've got a feeling I may know who that is from a Discord group of another YouTuber, Andy Kirby. Check his channel out. I'm sure you all know who he is anyway. Um, Lee Paper West. So, not sure on that one. We're up to eight nodes now. We've got Orange V3, Lee Paper West, Swell 2, Beam on a Pole, Hello Essex, uh, Swell Base, Hi Lizzie, Basil and Vans Repeater. So, there's definitely nodes out there to be seen. So, if you are looking for somewhere mo mobile in Essex to go for Meshtastic, one Tree Hill is a great place to be. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I've got a lot of projects due in the very near future, so make sure you're around to check those out. I'm James G1JOB. Thanks for watching.